table. I have like a bajillion Europeans that are about to flood the screen. And we are going to talk about these like insane, crazy things that are happening in the EU. Uh, and, and really, it affects so many more than just people located in the EU. So if you are located in the EU, if you have a page admin in the EU, if you have a page in the EU, if you have subscribers in the EU, if you are going after people in the EU, <laughs> this show is for you. It is a very important roundtable discussion we're having. So you definitely want to join us. So I'm going to start popping people on screen. This is going to get bananas here real quick. And we are going to start breaking down everything. Ah, oh, look, it's like the Brady Bunch of European men. If I were not a married <laughs> woman. Ah, so welcome, gentlemen. Oh, I think I need to just add one name here. There we go. And everyone knows who Rupert is. So he's down here in the corner. His name is the only one that's not showing. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have uh, a quite a bit to talk about today. The first thing I want to do is, first of all, for those of you watching, please check out and follow along. We are going to be using the link that's in the description, goes to a Google Sheet. It does a quick breakdown, and then we're going to be referencing articles that are in the resource section. I also highly recommend that you sign up for Bot Tools because Bot Tools is currently able to solve some of these problems. And knowing Rupert, he's going to be trying to fix everything for us because he's a magical unicorn of bot building magic, I guess. Um, so thank you for that. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our show notes. I'm going to quickly go through everything and then I'm going to open up the floor and we're just going to kind of rehash and go through ideas, solutions, frustrations. Those of you who are watching live, feel free to ask our, our uh, panelists questions. This is the first time I've had so many people on screen. So hopefully we're, one of three things could happen. This will be perfect and everyone will like harmonize. Everyone will talk over them each other or nobody will talk but me, which usually is the case. So my European friends, you need to be aggressive because I like to talk. Uh, let's go ahead and get on those show notes. If you are following along, come on, computer. It's dragging. If, if, we, if we crash, it's my fault. Um, all right. So our roundtable members today, we have Rupert Samuels down in the corner. We have, I'm going to butcher names, so please... Please feel, you know what? I'm going to make y'all introduce yourself first. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start with, uh, okay, I cannot pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. Is it Everett? Uh, you, can, you, you, you can try. Ev okay, it's I'm going to try. Is it French? Um, Everett Peters? No, it's a very Asian Greek. Yeah. Did I say it right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so yeah, my name is Evo Pides. Um, I've been in the chat marketing space for a bit more than one and a half year. Um, and yeah, uh, other things I do is just like business efficiency. I have a project management background and uh, yeah, and uh, reporting for chat marketing agencies. Yes, and Everpedis, you have an article that we're going to be referencing as well, which is in the resource link. So you guys will definitely want to check mm -hmm. that out during this live. So thank you for that. Uh, Jasper, you are up. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, my name is Jasper. I'm from uh, Denmark. I have a small agency here We're working with uh, mostly um, restaurants and small business, uh, local businesses um, doing uh, Facebook ads and uh, messenger bots and some loyalty programs. So that's my niche here in Denmark. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Sebastian. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Sebastian from Germany. I am um, for three and a half years now in the ManyChat sphere and uh, did dive quite deep into all the matter and I'm I uh, have an education program for pros and templates, like uh, I build an operating system for ManyChat and some apps on top. So I'm uh, quite deep into ManyChat and uh, very interested in this topic and roundtable. Uh, thanks for inviting. Thanks, Sebastian. And Sebastian, you are an educator as well. He has quite a bit of resources. And in the resource section, Sebastian has also provided a German save you say, challenge, right? Like a rescue for your um for your bot if you are dealing yeah, with I hope, these challenges. I hope the challenge um to to rescue what there is to rescue so if you don't want to give up the thing um let's do this together let's prepare for the 16th of december awesome um all right emerson you're up 
Yeah, hi, uh, my name's Emerson. I'm from the UK and I'm the co-founder of a uh, social media analytics and engagement platform called Maybe. Um, I've also been in and around the bot world for about the last three and a half years and we actually have built an integration for our users to plug their bots into the Maybe platform so they can view metrics and understand how their bot performance is doing alongside the rest of their social media analytics as well. That's me. And Rupert down in the corner. Um, hey, I'm Rupert. I think it's nice to see you on the before with Kelly uh, talking about bits. But um, I run a small marketing agency and uh, co founder of Bot Tools and uh, things like Wallet League. You might have seen around the mini chat space. And uh, yeah, I'm excited today to get talking about what to anticipate and what to do after December the 16th. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, really quick for our viewers, the the feed is a little a little catchy. There's a little delay. You have to forgive us because everyone's coming from different locations, and we are using eCam to stream in. Um, and uh, my computer is older than dirt, so <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, we do have people rolling in already with great questions, and we have here. Sacha just says, "I'm hoping that Rupert is going to just come on and say it's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, he's playing calming music." And then we could sleep for the first time in a week. I'm afraid that is not the case. He's not the tooth fairy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to open up our, our notes. I'm going to just quickly go through everything, and then we're going to go back and rehash everything. So let's start from the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Who is affected? Uh, pages that are located in the EU are affected. Pages who have an admin who are located in the EU are affected. Pages who have uh, subscribers in the EU, so it could I'm affected because I have lots of subscribers in the EU. Uh, if you are targeting people in your Facebook or in your ads, uh, and you're using messenger ads or sponsored messages, you are affected by these changes and the changes that also took place on November 16th. So what is no longer going to function as of December 16th. Again, I'm just going to go through it quickly and then we'll come back and touch deeper on each one of these. The OTN, the one time notification. Oh, that one hurts a little bit. We are no longer going to be able to use those. And um, as of December 16th, even if you have them, uh, according to ManyChat's article, you can't use them at all. According to Facebook's developer article, you can still send the OTN that you currently have, but it won't be functioning. So, <laughs> so yes, it doesn't even work. Why would they even do that? Dang it, Facebook. Um, all growth tools don't work. Uh, custom audiences from Messenger will not work. System audience information such as name, age, location, time zone, gender, all those things that we automatically get to see, you will no longer have that. Live chat agent information. So what this means is the admin who is chatting, if you're chatting from... If you're chatting with someone in the EU, they will not be able to see your information. And if you, the admin, are in the EU, you will not be, you'll not be able to see the information. So you'll be able to chat. It's just the information of the chatter won't be available. Uh, web plugins, also known as part of the Grow Tool collection, no longer available. Media attachments except for images. So that means your file uploads your uh, video clips that are what under 25 megabits um your let's see what else um voice audio all those are going to have to be exchanged for probably links persistent and dynamic menus typing indicators you know the little delay dot 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 those are gone sponsored messages were actually depreciated on november 16th and all messenger destination ads ooh, that's not how you spell ads was depreciated on um, November 16th. Features with new limitations. This one was quite interesting to me. Buttons will only work in uh, mobile. So quick replies work everywhere, but those, those static buttons, um, which is going to be a, quite a headache that we're going to have to kind of discuss some options for. Um, customer chat will work with limits. And we're still trying to get details on that one. Still fully functional, quick replies, message tags, also known as content type if you're in many chat. Conversation starters, keyword triggers are going to be huge for those of you that are affected. So take note of that. Handover protocol will be the same. Now, as you can see, I have, if you are following along in the notes that are linked, we have helpful tools being bot tools and resources. There's quite a few resources here. 
And we are actually going to head over to this next resource. And then I'm going to open up the floor and we are going to talk from the top uh, of this article. Oh, I already had it open. I know you guys can't see my screen. I'm not showing my screen when I have six blocks on those. I don't think my computer could take any more screen sharing. Um, all right, so let's talk about, uh, let's start with the OTN situation uh, that we have here right now. So what do you guys think? Obviously, this is a frustrating thing to not have that OTN. It was kind of like a gift, and now they're <laughs> ripping it away. And let me remind you, this is not Facebook's fault. It's not the platform that you're using to build your chatbot's fault. It's, it's they are complying with the legal requirements of the GDPR. So I'm going to open the floor to the guys. What do you think? Well, I mean, OTN had only just uh, kind of came up recently. And it's <laughs> kind of like all of a sudden we get given something to be able to reconnect with people and then all of a sudden uh, taken away from us. I mean, I think Everpeed has had a few good uh, solutions for or other ways to use something like an OTN. Um, if you want to let everyone know some of your solutions. I will say, Everpeed, is you need to remove uh, sponsored messages from your solutions. That's no longer a solution. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just figured it out today. Um, okay. I Other had, than that, there's some good uh, I, I, I have, Yeah. I have a few URLs also at uh, a couple of my solutions for a couple of problems, but apparently that's not going to work either. Um, but yeah, um, wait, I'm trying to find the document as well. Um, well, I'll go through them. Okay, and then, so, oh, you found them. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, as for OTNs, I mean, um, I, I guess most of you are familiar with uh, Wallerly and push notifications. Um, Rupert can explain more about that, I guess. And then you also have the opportunity to explore um, SMS channels in Europe. I know ManyChat doesn't, uh, it doesn't have open the SMS channel in many countries, but there are other alternatives such as Twilio or message bird, and then actually, we'll have to play around. Actually, you know when the message, you know, like the message bird, you can send SMS. I don't know if I mean, like, I pay attention a little bit to the app store and many chat, but um, um, there's an app in there to get message bird into your uh, many chat bar. I haven't used it personally myself, um, but you know, it's something maybe to worthwhile having a look into if we're trying to use SMS. There are other countries around in Europe, at least. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, like so far, um, I get, I guess the big, the big like pivot here is uh, from OTNs go to to SMS. But then we have a question that, um, I guess, in the Europeans are a little bit more defensive towards like giving you their phone numbers. Um, I will say, but yeah. I mean, until we have like another solution, SMS, I would say is the is the like key like element to like replace OTNs. I would say. For those of um, you that you are using SMS in the EU, um, we have a question here for SMS. What is the best for Europeans? Would you say it's message birds or SMS dot two or something else? What do you guys think? Well, I have I work with SMSTO and I'm quite happy. So the, the app from the ManyChat App Store sent SMS. I built this into my templates and uh, well, I'm quite happy. So I even can add people onto my SMS list that are in guest mode on the website chat and bring them onto my list, even though I don't know who they are on Facebook. So this works quite well. Okay, awesome. There's a little there's a little delay in his mouth, so it always drags like you're still talking, but you're not. <laughs> um, so that's the answer for the SMS. I think that one of the solutions I really like here is the is the push notifications. I know Rupert, you've been pushing, pun intended, uh, push notifications for some time. Rupert did design Walletly um, with the help of his partners. So could you speak to how push notifications can be used as as a solution for this and why people should be thinking outside of, you know, just Messenger? Well, um, I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's quite interesting, but I mean, with the exclusion of all the growth tools and now we're lacking ref URLs, 
it's all of a sudden making it a little bit difficult in my yeah. eyes to kind of like, we can push the push notifications via wallet in wallet, but um, then all of a sudden it's kind of like we can send more notifications, but we can't actually direct them back into Messenger for that 24 hour window um, for us to then, yeah, get them to convert. So it's a little bit of a, like we've got, we got a way to be able to communicate with them outside um, of the 24 hour via a channel where you are able to reignite that conversation. Um, but unfortunately, trying to pass them back over into the messenger area uh, with this limitation is just no longer available anymore. Yeah. Uh, I mean, got a few ideas on what to do, but I mean, I don't want to say anything until we Right, a lot of this is developing, testing. so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's something like, you know, that just a lot of things are developing right now. I think that's something to kind of take on to. I mean, like this has only just happened, you know, within the last bloody week or something. I mean, it was only a couple of weeks ago we had the knockback on the ad side of things for the conversion type of uh, advertising for Messenger. And now, I mean, I can only hope or, or think that um, things are going to get better around the corner. And uh, you kind of think back two years ago, we had a three-month time where we were literally banned from making any many chat accounts or Messenger accounts. Um, and then all of a sudden it all came back and there's been lots of advancements since then. Gosh, I forgot about that. You're right. We like did go through that, didn't we? <laughs> the trauma we forget. Uh, but it's true. Like, you know, this is very quickly developing. We just got the announcement, what, late last week. Um, this is super, I mean, ManyChat literally just released their article that we linked in the, the show notes today, and they're already making updates to it. So this is very quick, uh, quickly developing stuff. Um, and, and I think a lot of people, it's on their mind is like, like, do we still use Messenger? How do we still use Messenger? And I, I you know, for me personally, um, I'm impacted certainly somewhat because I have a lot of subscribers in the um, EU area. For me, I would say, that I'm going to rely heavily on the other platforms. Like I'm going to be taking them out. I will still use Messenger as a vehicle to maybe cross, you know, be like a connect, like between. But for me, I will not be putting all my eggs in the Messenger basket. But I've been like that for a long time. You know, I've been using email, SMS, uh, landing pages, and my Facebook group and other locations to kind of drive people. Um, so that would be my suggestion is, you know, everyone just needs to stop putting so much reliance on Messenger. And that's my opinion. But I would love to open up the floor to hear what you guys think. Anybody? Somebody? I'm going to call names. Yeah. Um, I, I will say something like which like I did, for example. Um, I figured out actually half a year ago that uh, relying on just like one single platform um, as a business, it's 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 risky. I mean, you're it, it's on the one side, it's good because you become a specialist on that specific platform, and then you know what you're doing. But then on the other hand, you like exactly you put all your eggs in one basket, and uh, now that this basket is kind of like um, let's say crumbling, switching, and uh, it gives us like a little bit of restrictions. Um, yeah, yeah, so I started pivoting towards, you know, other um, chat related services, for example, as an agency. Um, I help businesses with uh, reporting, creating custom dashboards and so on. Um, others I've seen, they started doing, for example, SEO um, and helping businesses with other platforms. Um, it's just that you, you cannot just like provide um, one one service. Um, you need to have like alternatives as a business, I will say. Yeah, I agree. Diversification, so important. This is something I've been teaching. I've been in digital marketing 14 years. You have to diversify because things change so fast. You need to be ready. If you want to be in business in the digital marketing space, like the things that I was doing 14 years ago don't even exist anymore. So you have to just be ready to, you know, move and, and move and shake and be ready to go. But I, I couldn't agree more yeah. with you with that idea of diversifying your, your yeah. offering as an agency. Yeah, the only, the, the only thing that's consistent in this world is change. So you've got to get used to it. 
<laughs> Isn't that the truth? I want to quickly remind our audience to please share out this live broadcast so that other people who are in the messenger bot space can have some understanding of what's going on. So let's jump back into uh, you know our, our solutions and, and what's going on. So we have here the media, audio, video, GIFs, all these sort of media things will no longer um, be able to load. You're going to get attachment unavailable. We're already seeing glitches right now, even in, around the world, because there's a known bug. So that's fun um, with videos and images not, not working. So I mean, yay, Facebook, thanks for not only doing this, but also having this broken. Um, so images will still be sent, but everything else is not sent. What is the solution that people can look to when it comes to this? You guys have ideas. What are you going to be doing? I, don't, I actually don't think the, the images and the videos is, is the most important part of my bot. So that's that's not going to be a big issue for me. Um, I don't know if the um, if they're going to be shown in in um, in in the cards as well. Is are they going to be shown in the cards? Do you, do you know that? The cards? pictures. I mean. I think I think the gallery will still be shown. Yes, yeah, but gallery. I don't, I don't, I don't the gallery, think yeah. they're going to be taken away. Okay. Yeah, um, I guess the gallery cards will still be showing, but depending on mobile or desktop, because you will have this persistent button limitation. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess it's uh, gallery cards is sort of a mobile only solution. Yeah, that's uh, what I was at thinking. the moment, if you want to direct people. Yeah, or you use quick replies under the gallery cards, uh, which is, it can get kind of messy, I would say. I mean, um, one thing I think when you come to that problem with the images not working for this thing and not basically having device detection, pretty much one thing you can really do to kind of straighten that out. But I mean, again, it's just having another kind of friction point at the same time inside of a flow that's not really necessary, I'd have to say in the grand scheme of things. So, I mean, like device detection is a great one, I think, to kind of help navigate some of the issues, okay. but um, yeah, you know, it's just, it just seems to be, you know, trying to find workarounds layering upon each other almost seem to be uh, the thing happening now, which is making it a little bit, obviously upsetting. So I can only hope that yeah, the next week, we're all we to say this we kind of get, get on to something. Um, you know, talking about solutions and like, you know, I said device detection, but every feed has also had a, um, a really good flow um, just to separate your EU audience from the rest of the world audience so that you can kind of diversify, you know, what you're going to do to those kind of people. So um, if you are watching, I would suggest that you kind of grab that. And, and I'll uh, add that to the notes. Every... I hadn't added it to the notes yet. So if you guys are watching after, I can't add it right now. My computer will crash. But after we're done, I will be updating those live notes. So be sure to keep checking back to that because I will be adding resources in there as well. Um, I agree. I think, you know, you're going to have to use cards. You're going to have to use galleries, but those are only going to work for um, mobile, the other option is just to link, like straight put the link in. If you guys got the OTN today for this show, you notice I didn't even use a button. I just put the link into the live, for the live broadcast because that's not depreciated. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're gonna have to use conditions. Uh, I do have Claudia here says images are not working in the US. We are aware of that. We did mention there is a bug right now, which is awesome. Um, uh, device detection only kicks on after a button is clicked, but there's no buttons. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that is, I mean, I've, I actually had that, I had, had that one thrown at me last night, funny enough, and I said exactly what you said about your live video link there. I was just like, use a link, don't use a button to be able to device detect what uh, device that person's on. Um, normally speaking, some of these links are usually a little bit ugly, as we might say with links. Um, words, but I, I can say that we should... Uh, I think there might be some um, uh, nice looking links that we can use soon um, for device detection. Or well, I mean, I know you're not going to push it because it's your product, but Bot Tools does have a deep link link shortening product for uh, the users. So, like I said, Bot Tools does have a lot of solutions for this. 
Um, my suggestion for people is to keep it simple. Go with the KISS method. For those of you who don't know the KISS method, this is something we, we learn in college here in the US. It's KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Like simple, stupid, not you being stupid, but make it so simple that it's stupid simple. Like let's not, you're just not gonna be able to build these crazy ass bots anymore. Like be smart. It's still, it's you, you are still valuable as an agency even if it's a simple solution, because it's not simple, is it? Because you have to know all these rules because you need to know how to connect push notifications and what works and what doesn't and SMS and all these things. You as an agency are more valuable right now with these changes because there, there's all these big things um, and it's your job to make sure that your clients are compliant. But I would say simpler solutions are definitely better solutions. I mean, I just saw in the comments, I saw that Rutger, um, follow, hello, by the way, um, but Rutger mentioned about the um, problems that we were facing on the 4th of March and how everybody was pretty much bricking, bricking that going back a while ago and now the 4th of March doesn't really seem like anything, you know, <laughs> so um, I mean, we've been through a lot to kind of get here, so it'd be a shame for a messenger to kind of be thrown away. Um, down really and ultimately knowing navigating a way around all of this is only good stuff really for you and your agency to be actually able to say that you know how to actually utilize the platform legally and not risk uh, risk anything uh, and yeah just like Kevin said earlier it just it's an unfortunate thing because you used to be able to build some beautiful complex or um, maybe complex is not the correct word but you used to be able to build some beautiful bots I guess in some way uh, these will only be used by nerds I guess like us but um, now it's just limited, and yeah, I can only say like what Kelly says: the keeping the kiss, uh, the kiss method, keep it simple, um, really is what you're going to have to concentrate with your EU audience. I feel. I mean, I'd love to hear like a summary on how people, like Sebastian, how do you how do you feel really about this? Like, you know, as you mean, you've been around Messenger for quite a lot in many chat and everything. I mean, like we've had all the hits thrown at us, but like, like how how do you feel about it? Well, it's always challenging. It was since the beginning. We are in the fastest moving industry, marketing industry of the world. And before I was working in Facebook marketing and it was changing like this. So uh, I'm used to it. And uh, well, if I give up now, no, uh, we just adapt. So if we're talking about not showing videos or audios in the, in the feed or in the, in the chat, well, we were restricted to 23.8 megabyte anyway, and it was quite difficult to get those videos in there. So let's just do a link to a web view and show this video, which is bigger and stream it there. So um, you might have some solutions for this and uh, we'll have a better experience even. No, oh, it doesn't look that nice in the chat if there is an ugly link, but maybe we'll find a solution for the ugly links as well uh, to even transfer some user IDs, if we have user IDs. Yeah, I so, think we uh, we'll right. find solutions I mean, I for this. I definitely agree with the thing about the 25 megabyte and all the audio type, you know, the audio visual uh, video and uh, all of those things going on there. I mean, it, <laughs> I'm very bashful in some way, but I mean, like on bottles, there is a, an extension where you can do video time watch tracking with uh, your mini chat box. Yeah. So you can upload a video, open it inside the web view. From there, you can show your video. That doesn't you don't need to worry about the size of the video, but your mini chat bot will also know how long they've watched of that video. So some, you know, things like that can also be used in the same way that we're special. You'd think that the show is like sponsored by Bot Tools, but it's not. It's just a great solution. <laughs> no, I just, I just, yeah, it's, <laughs> it just helps. Robin just here like, had a question he really wants us to answer. I think it's a good question that a lot of people are thinking about right now. And that is, what do we do with our existing customers, our existing subscribers? How do we reach them? Um, I'm going to start and then you guys throw out what you think. Uh, my, my suggestion right now, today, before December 16th, is get those people off a of messenger, onto an SMS, onto an email, whatever. Get them somewhere else and give them lots of lots of options. Do you want to be on our email? Great. Do you want to be on SMS? Cool. Do you want to get push notifications? Awesome. Do you want to be in our Facebook group? Do it now um, because <clears throat> time's running out. TikTok, baby. 
Yeah, you, you never know. You never know what is actually going to come back, but you can obviously only hope that uh, some things are going to be coming back. But um, yeah, I mean, out of all of us guys, like all of us guys, you know, here, like, if you could choose one of the three, you know, like, uh, let's say, where would you rather push people? Would you rather push people towards SMS, email, or a Facebook group? I mean, like, every P there's Jesper, Sebastian, Emerson. Like, out of those three choices, if you had to divert your traffic from Messenger, would you rather get them into email, SMS, or a Facebook group? What would you guys go with? Uh, for me, it would be SMS because uh, that's the instant nature and that's the kind of uh, the world where we live now. It's, it's instant and people want stuff immediately. And that is the closest, therefore, experience to what they were having in Messenger. So I would be voting for SMS over that. Followed by email, mm -hmm. Facebook group, not so much for me. Fair enough, fair enough. Sebastian, where do you think you'd want to be pushing people over to? Well, an SMS is quite short. So, hmm, email is still interesting, though it has low open rates. So I'd like uh, all of them. Sometimes you have to say a bit more than I send an email. And sometimes uh, here's a clip link to in half an hour we are live on facebook just send me an sms so i need all of it and i would say um, to ask answer kelly's question what to do now until the 16th so get rid of all those otn tokens that you've collected <laughs> you don't need them anymore <laughs> just blast yeah, them off and get people in great point jasper what about you uh, um, I say of, of uh, those uh, Rupert mentioned, I, I would also say SMS. But um, the problem here in, in Denmark, we already have um, tons of uh, companies working with the SMS. So um, the point where I stick out uh, from the uh, the crowd, um, what I can do with Messenger is uh, is not going to be an option for me anymore. Um, so um, uh, yeah, we already have a lot of SMS in Denmark, but. Um, it's SMS, as I see it, is a little bit, a little bit more personal than a messenger. Uh, it, yeah, so that might uh, be a problem to get uh, people's phone numbers. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. And every Peter, which which one of the three would you think to go with? Um, for me personally, it depends, like on the type of business and niche, actually. Uh, if we're talking, for example, businesses like restaurants, um, I will 100% say SMS. I mean, yeah, what's the point of getting them in a group or in, like, I don't know, email? They probably never check it. Um, if we're talking about businesses such as coaches, uh, entrepreneurs, and, and and things like that, I believe that commu like Facebook communities uh, would work the best. Um, in order to keep them engaged. Um, and I would use email as a, let's say, supplemental of the both. I mean, the the big majority is here for me is like Facebook groups and SMS. Um, email, just like us, some, something like to like complement the other two. Yeah, I'm like all of the above because, like Sebastian said, everything needs its own. You know, I, there's just no one one stop answer. Just like there shouldn't be just messenger. I have to reference this comment. I don't know who left it because they're in a Facebook group. It says, "I think you're all fooling yourselves. This is only the beginning of the EO's work in terms of restrictions." I don't think anyone here is fooled, and I don't think anyone needs to stay on messenger. To be honest, I'm not trying to trick you guys. Like. You, if you, Messenger no longer serves you, don't use it. Don't try to force something that doesn't work for you and your clients. <clears throat> it's just like all these people who jumped on Messenger trying to force it into something it's not, like trying to replace entire for, like funnels and landing pages. And I just never thought that that was a solution. Um, Messenger has its place. But if you can still utilize Messenger, it can still be a powerful tool. Yeah, there's a lot of restrictions. Can it still be utilized? We're still navigating that. So no, I don't think anyone here is being fooled by by the, we're, we're walking into this like going, well, shit, like now what? And that's how any good marketer should be looking at it. It's you have to roll with the punches. And so I'm not, nobody here is trying to lie to you. We're just trying to come up with solutions that are offered to you if you want to stay on the messenger platform. 
I mean, I was I was kind of talking about this with Emerson a little bit earlier, but uh, the way that Messenger kind of feels now almost feels a little bit on the side of like how SMS is. It's just not as expensive. Like you can't actually, you know, there's, there's not exactly growth tools exactly made for SMS. Like it's, it, I don't know. I just feel like Messenger is getting a little bit more resemblance of SMS in certain ways with, you know, bits and bit, bit by bit, it's just getting chipped away. And uh, it's starting to become a little bit kind of like SMS with a few other restrictions to it. Just kind of like the broadcasting to feel like one of the few things that are a little bit different in comparison, you know, at least for Europe. Not for you know, everywhere around the world, but it's just a little bit how it feels like to me. Helder had a great comment. Digital marketing landscape is very demanding for us marketing professionals. Always changing all the time, damn it. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's legit. Um, I apologize for people who are having trouble hearing my mic. I, this is as good as it gets with six people on a on a live broadcast. I'm, try, I'm trying to keep as close to my mic as possible. I'm sorry. A um, lot of questions about ads. I want to clarify here. As of November 16th, messenger destination ads are gone. So, and that includes sponsored messages. So unfortunately, if your plan was to send a sponsored message to your audience and you're in the EU, you're too late. Yeah, too late. It's gone. Sorry. Sorry for the bad news. More bad news. Yeah. What well, bad news? What are you talking about? There's no bad news. <laughs> it's, just, it's just news. It's just news. It's just yeah. more stuff to deal with. It's part of the... that. Why are you in this industry if you can't handle the truth? <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Well, um, we're not dependent on JSON ads. We, can, we, can, we have visual JSON. It still works. Yeah, you could do visual JSON. You just can't do regular JSON. And I actually much prefer visual JSON myself. Keyword triggers still work. That's a great point, Sebastian. Um, Cosmic here has a, a comment for Sebastian. Did Sebastian see this change coming from Facebook? As over the last two years, Messenger bots was always left out of the GDPR topic until now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, good question. Well, uh, sometimes... Um, I'm quite interested in this topic of GDPR. Not that uh, I really like to deal with it, but it's my job. So I saw some differences between what is possible and what is allowed. And it was just a matter of time until they close it. So uh, some things that are happening now, I can definitely relate to GDPR, but other is the doesn't bear any logic for me, um, changes. Like it's still available on desktop and not on mobile. Yeah, well, I can that? only guess. Well, so some things are obvious, like um, user ID matching and custom audiences. Well, I like it, but um, it's, <laughs> I always was wondering how long it's going to be OK. Yeah. And to get all this user data, I mean, if you're on the ho on the get started screen in the bot, there was always this little line of Facebook. By clicking get started, you allow Facebook to uh, deliver your personal profile info, like picture, name, and stuff. So they get their consent of the user, but it was only on the get started page. If I run a, a JSON ad or come from other points, I don't have this get started. So I can't give my consent. So I can understand why they get rid of it. Maybe they'll bring it back in an advanced version later. But uh, yeah, some things were I saw coming and others are really surprising now. Uh, or like these buttons on the website, these messenger plugins. Well, Facebook is collecting data of everyone. doesn't matter if you're logged in or logged out of Facebook. They're collecting data and um, as soon as you're on this web page. And, well, in Europe, it's uh, an issue. <laughs> Point. Yeah, you could probably expect if it hasn't already been affected, your pixels everywhere are going to be adjusted. So it's coming if it hasn't come already. Uh, Rutger had a question here. For everybody my thought is that we can identify a eu user if locale is unknown if so we can group eu users thoughts isn't this the solution that we saw in yeah the, that we were talking about yeah i think it's what yeah. even repeat it said in, i'll uh, add it to the notes. we, we yeah, did, um, yeah, um, yeah, 80%. 
Yeah, and there's also like another workaround. I know a lot of people track, um, let's say, users uh, using sheets, and then one big identification they use is like the user ID. Um, you can also automate that to create, let's say, generate your own um, user ID to like put them, like deliver them into your Google Sheets so you can create a database and uh, have your data there. So yeah, it will be in the in the doc. Uh, I share both, like you can add the picture as well there of the room I created. Yeah, I can't grab it right now because my yeah. computer is so slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got too much going on, but as soon as we're done, I will update the document to have that flow and the screenshots in there as well. Uh, Daniel here has questions about ads. Just to be clear, you're saying sponsored messages. Do you mean that messages as a campaign objective is gone? Yes. It's already gone. So if you've been trying to do a spot, like a paid anyway. broadcast in ManyChat or a sponsored broadcast, you know, like an actual message, those are gone, among other things. Also, I, I think someone asked about video. Like, I don't know. Um, so I have a client I'm working with, and we work a lot with video. And actually, before all these came up, we started switching to another platform instead of using the native um, like uploading the videos in Messenger, uh, and it's actually really cool. And the conversion rates um, are actually insanely high. Uh, it's Video Ask. It's a platform created from uh, Typeform, and it's something worth checking out. Uh, it also has like API integrations, and you can capture data, for example, uh, within Video Ask and send it back to ManyChat. Um, yeah, using webhooks, uh, Zapier, and so on. Um, but yeah, uh, that's a very good alternative to using videos. Um, also, like capturing a name, for example, you can introduce yourself, like, hi, um, blah, 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 uh, in a video, and then you can ask them, they can in input their name under the video with video ask, and then you can transfer that back to MailChat. And you can actually use it for a lot of solutions or also for customer support and, and a lot of things. Awesome. Um, Marion here set, asked the question, do we have to go into ManyChat and cancel all the growth tools? It depends. Um, all the growth tools were, are just gonna go to your main flow. It's just gonna go to like to your generic, they're all gonna opt over into like a generic open the thing. It's not gonna go to the flow that you specifically wanted. <clears throat> so if you're okay with that, then that's fine. Um, obviously that's not gonna work for like 99% of people. So you will need to adjust that. My suggestion with um, a, none of these growth tools are gonna work. They're all gonna go to your main flow. So you might as well just send people to your main flow and let them know as a call to action before they enter, use keyword whatever when you get there and it will trigger the flow because keywords still work. So yeah, you're gonna have to update And I have those. another idea for this. So if you don't get any user data, you don't get the profile picture, you don't know who is coming to your messenger bot. So I can only assume now, I don't know it um, exactly, but you don't know who you're talking to in the bot. So every time there's gonna be the get started page with the conversation starters. And if everything is referencing to this, conversation starters every time uh, you have the options to direct people where you want them it's not that nice as with ref urls and payloads but uh, at least we have some kind of direction to the main functions of the bot yeah yeah and and also something else i mean like a lot of people stressing about that we're not gonna have info such as their first name so we're not gonna be able to make the conversation all more personalized. I mean, like every every humane conversation like starts with an introduction. Like you can introduce hmm. yourself and basically like capture a name or a nickname. And there are like plenty of creative ways to actually do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I agree. User inputs still work. Um, Mark I mean, here said that both. the platform he uses. You guys, it's just still for bots. You could say it. Uh, they'll provide a new system variable for this so you can use it inside conditions. Um, they're talking about the location thing. 
And it's actually yeah. something I put in a oh, request cool. for ManyChat to do as well, because I think that's a, that should be something that should be rolled out on all platforms to make it easy. I think, um, what's the other, ChatField just rolled out their updates, and I believe they just yeah. made that same update to, to have condition for EU users already automatic. Uh, let's see, another question, or I don't know if it's a question, but a comment. You could do a traffic to Messenger and add visual keywords, but then they come in from the 16th, we won't have their info, but assume we can capture data and add it to custom fields. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking at ad solutions, you could do traffic ads, you could do, um, click, you know, the cl engagement ads. Um, there's, there's ads you can do. People have already been testing this. I just want to preference this by like, telling you your conversions to messenger are going to drop it's it's just the it is the nature of how those ads work um you're going from a direct hit into messenger with a like a simple um confirmation message to get them opted in and now you're going to be jumping through more hoops so um, and also the the idea of using traffic to a ref url will no longer work so i mean there's obviously some some issues with how ads are going to run if you guys have any ideas on how you're going to be running ads going forward by all means again i just want to remind you you don't have to use messenger <laughs> if, if the solution is not messenger if you can run an ad straight to something else like let's say Right now I have a Shopify store and I'm running ads to Messenger to sell Shopify stuff or get you opted in. Now I'm just gonna send you to Shopify. I'm gonna have a pop-up widget to get you opted in for SMS, which I've always been a bigger fan of SMS opt-ins for Shopify integration over Messenger because of the 24 hour rule. And, and then I'm just gonna bypass Messenger, but that's just me. So I, again, I just wanna remind you guys, Messenger isn't the only option here. Um, unfortunately, it, it has still have visual JSON, so it still works. Visual JSON still works, absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll be using Video Ask and like web a lot actually. Um, like like Video Ask is like an insanely good platform. It's like one on one conversations with the video, and you like it has like user input. People can like input, and they have like an average of like ninety two percent conversion rates, uh, like in total. Yeah, so that's one channel I'm definitely gonna be uh, using uh, and direct people from my ads there and maybe, I don't know, like, I don't know, I'll use chatbot funnels um, somehow. If it works, it works. Will you um, put yeah, in exactly. chat after this, the link to the product you just talked about? I'll put it in the show notes so people can uh, Yeah. Uh, let's see. What about ref links? I read today that they are not depreciated after all. I did not read that, so I don't know. I can't. I can't speak to that um, until I have further proof. Now the Messenger API documentation is in the notes, so if you guys want, instead of reading all the different blogs and updates, just go straight to the source, and we can we can kind of read through that. Um, I'll scan through it if you guys want to chat a little bit more, but. Um, let's see. Someone asked, "Do you think conversation starters will still start different flows?" Yeah, they still work. Conversation yeah, starters conversation are starters keyword still triggers, work. essentially. I mean, if somebody said that ref links all of a sudden are actually going to work, I mean, I can only say that there's a lot of content coming out right now, and everyone, I think everyone's trying to find something else out. And uh, I think one or two people might be misreading some of the documentation and making their interpretations yeah. of it. And I think we kind of have to kind of get through at least until the 16th of December to know exactly what is what uh, and see where we are kind of next week uh, to let's say. But I mean, I think this is kind of good to get at least uh, all, all of us lot talking about this and try and make sure that everybody else is uh, aware of what is going to be happening on the 16th. It, 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 earlier in the conversation when Sebastian and Edward Peters was um, uh, mentioning about uh, essentially all the... Basically, I, everything you kind of said, going back a few minutes ago, it just sounded very much like SMS uh, uh, Messenger is turning into SMS in the same rules of everything else. Like you don't know who is in conversation with you, so you need to introduce yourself. It's the same thing you do with S, uh, SMS. And um, it was the exact same point um, of what Sebastian brought up as well, that it's, it just seems very similar to how, I, how we're operating with SMS. Um, but now we have to do it through the channel of Messenger instead. So, um, 
yeah, we just, I think it's just best to see where we are next week before we start kind of like hearing to the paddle from mm. absolutely everybody because otherwise I feel like everyone's going to get uh, confused and I think that's the worst thing that all of us could really do over this week. So uh, I would, I would yeah, pick There's going to be a lot of misinformation going from. out right now, guys. <laughs> a lot. So no matter where you're, even if it's us, if you're getting it from this live broadcast, if you're getting it from the many chat blog, from chat fuels blog, from some social media post, it doesn't matter where you're reading your information unless it is get, and even if you are personally interpreting the information that Facebook's putting out, everybody has their own interpretation. We've seen that backfire. So I think that Rupert is spot on by saying that, you know, we really need to see what happens and just be really cautious of how you're spreading information. Um, and maybe just always put a note. That's a note to myself. Always put a note. Hey, this is fast paced. This is changing. You know, check back. This might not be super accurate. So don't take it as like the gold standard all the time. Mark makes a great point. The world is always changing. It's not coming to an end. It's only temporary. Uh, you know, who knows? It, it could just be only temporary. But like Everpita said in the beginning and we were chatting about is like diversify, roll with the punches, move to the next step. You know, we always have to keep moving. Yeah, and let's um, think about how we use the bots. What is it? Uh, you can use it as a marketing tool or as a, a customer support tool. Mm -hmm. Or I just recently built um, a product finder. And I used several technologies within ManyChat, combination with Google and Integromat and bot tools. Uh, to make a very sophisticated product finder, which I can place on the website and tell the people, so if you want to find the best product, just click here and it will work. So one use case for uh, the bot and maybe not the entire system, um, we have to think, okay, they will go again. So if we get their email address or their SMS on the way, perfect. But um, this project I'm doing with this product finder is not affected by the changes at all. It will still work. And in the web chat widget on the landing page, it still works fine. So um, no changes for us in this project. Yeah, there's, there's still things that you can do. Mark um, actually did prove to me. I didn't want to say it at first, but he did send me the proof. Growth tool, Facebook comment growth tool still works. Probably because of that opt-in, that comment reply opt-in. So that's good news. You know, we'll take whatever we can get. I'm like scanning my messages right now because people are sending me crazy messages. Um, all right, let's see. Is it allowed uh, all subscribers when you don't have an OTN status, but what to reach them as an account update to get them on your email list estimate? No, absolutely not. No. I would not do that. That is a fast way of getting blocked. Don't do it. It's a trick. Because it's not your, I mean, it's not really your account update. It'd be one thing if the app, ManyChat, for instance, it'd be one thing if they sent out an account update. And even then, I'd have to go back and reference the rules. But I, I definitely would not recommend any normal user using a message tag to get someone on your email list. Absolutely not. I am looking for more questions here. Daniel wants more clarity on, I think, Ads. See, I'm sorry to ask for more clarity. I don't use many chat or bots. We have humans answering incoming messages. Are you really saying that Messenger and Facebook ads as an objective is gone in disbelief? Um, it runs, whatever runs through the API is definitely gone in terms of these services. And, and certain, and the, these are separate issues. The thing that's happening on December 16th is, um, is the, the API for Messenger bots. The ad stuff happened on November 16th. I believe I, I referenced it in the notes. I will if I haven't yet. And that is a lot of the Messenger destination ads are gone. Don't kill the Messenger, y'all. In Europe. In Europe, sorry, yeah, EU. You guys, if you're not located in the EU or you don't have subscribers in the EU, don't freak out by watching this. Oh gosh, so many questions. I don't even have time anymore. <laughs> um, my visual JSON 
isn't attached to my ad when I preview the Facebook through the newsfeed. I publish the ad and nothing happens. I hear Facebook is having problems. Is JSON out for a while? Uh, visual JSON should still be working. Regular JSON is not available for EU, but there are a lot of glitches right now and you should expect a lot of glitches right now because Facebook is making quick changes to the platform to um, comply with these rules. And so that's probably a lot of the reasons we're seeing things like the images are, are um, there's an image bug right now that images aren't working anywhere in the world. And I would expect that the next couple of weeks um, are gonna be bumpy for everybody. Yeah. So traffic to Messenger is still working without a bot. I mean, other than those ads. I'm just reading out questions now. So we're using keywords from an ad. Is that okay? Yes, that's a visual JSON. Good point about SMS pop-up and Shopify. You're welcome. You can use email as well. All right, you guys, we have like five minutes. I am not, we just, there's like so many questions rolling in right now. Um, unfortunately, we're running out of time. But uh, what any, I want to do anybody... is like, let's go around uh, the circle, if you will, and everyone just give some like final thoughts, uh, whether you want them to be panicked, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening, or I'm not using Messenger anymore, or you want to say what your solutions are, you know, some final thoughts. Um, FRP days, do you, would, would you like to start? Uh, yeah, so like, I mean, 2020 obviously has been like a weird year, and I think like every single business like people that like, I don't know, 9,000 degrees, and yeah, I mean, some like more than others, like Messenger is like, it's it's like the turn of Messenger now. And like, it comes down to the core, I would say, goal of your business. For example, let's say is to generate more revenue for restaurants. Like, I mean, yeah, you were using Messenger now, just find like other means to do it. Like, just think of the core goal of your business. Like, now, if you're a business and you're like using Messenger to like, like generate traffic, just find other ways to like generate traffic, like promote your products. Just, yeah, it's just like, it, it's a pivoting game, like in 2020, it's like, yeah, just like doing around and around and around. Jasper. Yeah, um, my thoughts of all this is um, I want to see what, what happens on, on the 16th and see how, how bad it's going to be. Um, Hopefully, they're going to to take some of this uh, away again, and um, maybe it will all get get better soon. But uh, right now, it's um, it's an uphill battle, uh, I, I would say. The the problem, as I see it, is is this is going to be so complex to to navigate in this uh, messenger uh, marketing stuff. So the problem in, in Europe, as I see it, is is th this will never be a mainstream tool for anybody to use. And and I can see that as a as a big problem. Yeah. So, Sebastian. Well, yeah, there's still hope. We're getting functions back, as Facebook quotes in their um, site on the developer page, since they have to make changes, and it may take a while until they make a new version for us in Europe. But some functions will get back. Maybe not all. But uh, there's uh, other stuff on the horizon in ManyChat. So waiting for WhatsApp, waiting for Instagram. So the entire space of chat marketing didn't lose its weight uh, since, well, we are just beginning in the era of chat marketing. So if we have some temporary bugs in Messenger, so what, we had it before. Um, no reason to stop it. Maybe pause the ads for a while and see what happens and do some twists. But um, yeah, well, I'll be there for at least for the German market to um, guide them through the changes. So come to my challenge. And, um, and well, well, there's still professionals on the market that can help you, that can assist you with templates. So you don't have to program all the fancy stuff. Let others do it and um, relax. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Emerson? Uh, yeah, I think we've all changed. I guess dropped on you at any time in your life. It's all about 
going through that cycle of first acceptance, then anger, then probably working out how to get out of it. And I think right now everybody just needs to sit tight and think carefully about what is the use case for their bot and which bits can be used for Messenger and which bits can be used elsewhere. And yeah, let's not all go out and, you know, kind of uh, get totally depressed about it. We've had one hell of a year as it is already. You know, you know just chill out. It's nearly Christmas. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> Rupert, I'm just going to put up this comment again just to remind people what Sacha said in the beginning that she's hoping. Your closing remarks, at least, are going to say, it's okay. Calm down. It's fine. <laughs> I, 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 got, I got two closing remarks. First one is Messenger's been through quite a lot over the years, you know, different hits we can all think of. But if you're a messaging marketing agency right now, <clears throat> obviously you're taking a hit. I can only say if you're one of those people that, you know, can – tough it out and, you know, be bothered to learn a few things, read a few things, watch a few videos, you know, nothing too drastic. You're going to be ahead of the game and everybody else who thinks, oh, I'm just going to give up and whatever, it's thinning out the herd and it's giving you more possibilities to really touch base with those businesses that want to work with Messenger. So as much as you can obviously go and say it's all doom and gloom around us, you can look at your perspective on positioning on your business and kind of say to yourself, hey, the, the herd just got thinner and I can either increase my prices if I wanted to because that is, you know, um, uh, the way you can look at uh, look at it or, you know, you can just look at it that you're going to close more deals in some way. Um, my second remark is basically bottles will help you with all of these problems. So if you do and you are having a few issues, then come and have a look over what we're doing at bottles because there'll be a few new things happening in the following weeks. So, yeah. And I uh, hope everyone has a good weekend as well. I sure remember everyone of us that yet. Just to be clear, I wasn't <laughs> shushing you. I was shushing my four-year-old who just walked into my office. I keep making these faces like, no, shh. It's not Rupert. I totally agree with Rupert. <laughs> check out the Bot Tools link that's in the notes. Um, you can check out Bot Tools. A lot of the tools are actually free. So it's definitely worth checking out. Um, and there's a lot of tools that can help you through this navigation through this horribly frustrating time. Um, as far as my closing remarks, a uh, couple things. You know, people keep ta bringing up like WhatsApp and Instagram. And I just want to remind you, Facebook owns those things. And you, you need to be cautious when, when saying that that's the next solution. But ManyChat is rolling out other things. And there's other tools. And there's other add-ons and apps. So there's always going to be solutions that are going to help. But as everyone kind of said, um, uh-uh, no thank you. Stop. <laughs> As everyone else has kind of said, and I will echo, is you know, it, it's the early stages. I've said this for quite some time. We're still in the wild, wild west here. And as someone who's been in digital marketing for 14 years, I can tell you that if you want to be in a bit in an industry for 14 years, if you want longevity in your business and you want to make the big bucks, then baby, you better hold on because it's going to be a bumpy ride. And you need to roll with those punches. And you need to be smart and you need to be able to leverage the tools that are available to you and just keep moving forward. And if you're so stressed out right now that you can't hang and you're ready to, you know, jump ship for no other reason other than are you okay? okay. <laughs> for, for no other reason than you just don't want to do, deal with it, then bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felipe. We don't need you in our industry. The rest of us will take, will take it from here. If you just don't think Messenger works for anymore, that's fine. That's a different, that's different, right? Like, I get it. The, the restrictions may just not work for a solution for you. And that's fine too. But if you want to be in this industry, uh, and for the long haul, you don't put all your eggs in one basket, roll with the punches and be flexible. And that's just kind of my mantra for everything I do, um, because that's just the way this, these industries work. So roll with it. Stick with all these people here. We'll keep, you know, keeping you updated in our perspective countries and languages and keep pushing out the good stuff. I want to thank all of you that joined me here in this panel today and taking the time um, I know it's late over there, overseas, across the pond, as they say. So I appreciate all of you gentlemen for coming on and hanging out with me, the crazy American lady. Um, and then I also want to thank all of our viewers. We had uh, over 70 viewers um, for quite some time. So I want to thank all of the people who tuned in. I want to thank everyone who's tuning in for the replay. Keep those questions coming. <laughs> Join the Baby Got Bot Facebook group. Sebastian, you have a Facebook group? Yes, I do. Shout it out, dude. 
Well, it's called Messenger Bots mit ManyChat. There you go. So there's another Facebook group. Uh, Rupert has several Facebook groups. And Emerson, Emerson's got a Facebook group as well. I, I think everyone should go have a good check out. <laughs> Emerson, it, shout out your Facebook group. Gentlemen, all of your Facebook group, all the links you want to share, put them in our private chat as well, and I will add them to the show notes. Emerson, what's your group? Uh, we're maybe uh, make social media work. Is it maybe make social media work? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is yeah. It my maybe is maybe is the maybe is the company name. So you know. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> um, so there's resources out there for you. Please utilize those resources. Everyone, take a deep breath. Take the weekend off. Nothing other than you should be sending out all your OTNs, getting everybody on different lists, getting them up. Once you get that done, housekeeping done then go take the weekend off because it's going to be bumpy for a little while and you're going to need a break. <laughs> Self-love, everybody. Um, thank you, gentlemen, so much for joining me. I'm going to be kicking off all the guys. So everyone wave goodbye, 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 and goodbye, and goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Don't forget, those notes that are in the description are live notes. I will be spending the next 45 minutes um, or less updating them with all the links that we discussed. And I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. You can catch my group, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash baby got bot, or just look up baby got bot. I'll be over there as well. Many of the gentlemen who are on the show are in that life, uh, in that group as well. Thank you so much. And just roll with the punches. You guys, you got this, you got this. We all got this.